welcome to Washington Exec's video series. I'm your host, Amanda Ziedet, and today we're catching up with Sandy Gillespie. She's the Chief Operating Officer at Excella. Thank you so much for joining me today, Sandy. Thank you for having me, Amanda. I appreciate being here. Of course. So I understand you joined Excella in March, right at the start of the pandemic last year. Can you speak uh, reflectively on how you've helped handle the pandemic-related challenges that fell within your purview internally or with customers? Absolutely. So I think first and foremost, uh, for me and the company, it was a it was a great test of, you know, I just joined the company of validating the firm's purpose, vision and values. Right. And and what it means. And, you know, the one of the primary um, purposes for Excella is to really cultivate exceptional careers for Excellians so that, you know, through providing meaningful solutions to our clients and, you know, Assuming that they do that, we can really offer an enormous value that we can measure um, really to the world, which is a, a huge aspirational component. Um, and I guess core under that values, right, which are flexibility, right, initiative and to get results. And so if you think of those things and that we have a, an area of freedom, trust and, and challenge, right? Those are our basic areas. And so if you think back on that in the pandemic that occurred, we had a number of things you had to deal with right off the bat, right? Um, literally, um, I entered the firm um, using Zoom first day, you know, did my orientation that way. And, um, and so, you know, thinking about all the challenges that you were immediately going to have, like contractual challenges, emotional challenges, tactical challenges, like does everybody have what they need to work remote, um, as well as really those, what I'm going to call the emotional side of things, that upheaval of people and, you know, get making them feel comfortable. And so if you, we went through every single one of those elements, you know, the very first weekend, uh, we were able to get everybody uh, remote by the Monday, you know, following uh, the, ch the decision of the corporation to fully go remote. And then I think really leveraging the strength that a company like Excella that's focusing on transformation with clients. And so with that always comes, you know, change is that underlying current of that and how to be productive um, in that environment and how to have people, particularly new employees, even like myself, feel supported um, in that environment. And so we really, you know, put, put together um, access. We really utilize Slack. Um, right away, as I know a number of, of firms did, to make sure that people had a way of communicating across the organization, and and frankly, immediately reaching out and having one on ones with the clients. Twofold for me, it was an opportunity to um, meet many of them because it was my very first weekend, but also to validate um, what was their highest concerns of getting, you know, work accomplished and how we were going to forge that and then really sharing that and being transparent with our teams. And so that was key is that transparency and that immediate contact and having people feel empowered to get work done was, was just core to all of that. Yeah, that makes sense. And, you know, of course, along with the pandemic, I understand the firm is also addressing inclusion, diversity and equity related areas. Um, I mean, actually, the first thing that you see when you go to the Excella website says we stand in solidarity against racial injustice. That's correct. So, yeah. So I wanted to ask if there are any initiatives or practices in place, you know, now or going forward at, at work to address and adapt to those social needs. Right. Well, so absolutely. You know, first and foremost, diversity in, in, at Excella is the key to innovation. Right. We really believe that that diversity of thought has always been that way. You know, even before we had additional social issues that really compounded what we we're feeling during the pandemic. So one of the, you know, I guess a number of things that happen right away in the company is putting together um, a refocused ID and E team um, to at, at the leadership level to make sure that that we had the ability for people to have access uh, we do what we call ask me anything. And so we immediately, you know, two brave Excellians who really had experienced, um, you know, racial issues in their careers and in their lives came forth and let all Excellians who were interested uh, participate in understanding their point of view. 
We initiated um, an additional leave day for all Excellians called Racial Injustice Leave um, that we put in place. So whether it's you have, um, frankly, and you could use it in a day or in segments of the day and hours to just deal with emotional well-being, to work on a positive project, to participate in an allyship in some way, um, or frankly, in some cases, to save it so those that were mostly impacted could take more time um, off. Interestingly enough, we are now extending that um, into um, our civil unrest that we have in this country. And so as we go into 2021, we are um, leveraging that and bringing that with us to allow excelling in that same access in 2021 because of the circumstances that are so unsettling that we're, we're facing in the country. Um, those are just, you know, um, I guess, um, examples of initiatives in the company, but um, a really embracing the excelling in bringing to the table the things that matter to them um, and and then using those and prioritizing those things within the company that will allow us to help them feel like they've got a safe space. And then in return, um, they can bring that energy and focus on customer needs. In terms of a 2021 outlook, how are you and your team innovatively working with your workforce and clients to move forward? And, uh, you know, what are you focused on this year and how will the learnings of, you know, a challenging 2020 set the tone? You know, we really are continuing to um, focus on fostering Excel's culture to create a really supportive environment that fosters that um, in encouraging all facets of diversity in the workplace, right, in our lives. And so I guess from that perspective, there are kind of two things. One is we're even uh, we're starting to um, look at um, education around what does it mean to include your pronoun? And how do you have those conversations and that comfort level or discomfort level, as the case may be, and in, in introducing yourself and inviting others to bring that into the conversation. And so that is actually we've got a, um, an education and training session on Friday around that very topic. In addition, really on the true innovation side, um, I would say that um, leveraging Excel Labs to bring that diversity of thought to place and really think about what we're looking like as a leader in modern software delivery and our leadership role as it relates to artificial intelligence and continuing to be a thought leader in those areas and how important it is, particularly in, in you know, today's world, to bring in um, our are a very inclusive environment where we can continue to stay in the forefront of innovation. Great, wonderful. Well, we've, of course, just scratched the surface on these conversations. So uh, we certainly look forward to catching back up with you later in the year. And thank you so much for sharing all this with us today. I really appreciate it, Amanda, and uh, look forward to working with you more in the future. Of course. Thanks, Sandy. Thanks. Thanks.